What we want to do is we have to... Everything is division, you just said. Everything is division and differentiation. In WEC right? me method. In life, in, in WEC like method, right? So we're not... Inefficient. It, okay, so we have to square the circle, okay? This is sort of the elusive thing that the ancients were doing. And it's so simple because you just make a circle and then you square it, cardinal direction. So now you have 90s, okay? And then you just take an X, so you, it's a double cross, right? I got the cross. If I double it, right, and then fortify it, I have eight directions. North, south, there's the north, there's the south. Notice how they're the same but different. Like this is this angular thing and this is just flipped over and smooth. And so is the east and the west. You see how it has the same thing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is all expediency when you have to create the system, okay? So what we do in WEC method is in order to understand how to get to the divine angles that just work because they work, to take the three, the three, dim, the three dimensional body and have that locate and, and conform, deform, so that it equalizes the 2D expression back. So you have to, you have to do the work to, to work with mama here, because this is only 2D. It's flat and it's unyielding, <laughs> right? So you got, you got to behave your mama, right? And so what we do here... You do the work in 3D. We're yes. so, we work so flat, don't we? we work well, so you're flat. up against flat, and you're fighting the ground, not gravity. If you're fighting gravity, you're losing by definition, because you can't fight it, right? If mm. you fight it, you're an idiot. Mm. <laughs> right? If you fight it, you've been misinformed. If you fight it, you're a school for the gifted, pushing on a door that says pull, and you can't figure out why you're not getting in. Okay. And it's just like, yeah. uh, duh. So, <laughs> right? Yeah. It, it's, it just makes sense. So now, what this is here, yeah. okay is this becomes the 32 divisions. All right, now it's a mess, so I don't know how many are in there. But when I get the 32, okay, that gives you an angle in here of 11.25, okay? This summation of these divisions of a circle will always add to nine. So we have 360, 180, 90, 45, 22.5, and a 11.25. And we want to get to four, right? One, two, three, four. This is also strikingly similar to one, one, seven, seven yeah. right? Which always equals nine. If you, if the integers here, three plus six, nine, one plus eight, nine, nine, four, five, nine, two, two, five, nine, and nine, okay? Yes. So the nines, if you have a circle and you start doing, you know, just divisions, always division, you know, so ding, 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 Is ding. nine the half of that? What would that be? Five point... What do you mean? Six. What do you mean? One, two, five. I want to do the half of that and just check that's Oh, nine, half of that? Just because I like... Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's the five... Uh, it, five point six, you know, one, two, five. Uh, uh, it's, it's five point six, one, two, five, I think. Yes, exactly. Five point one... Uh, no, 5.6 no, no. gets us to yeah, 11. 5.6 and then 5. 125. 125. Yeah. So it's yeah. always going to end. Once you get to here, it's 11, always going to end in 2.5. It'll always end in 2.5, okay. whatever the numbers are as you divide it. Yes, okay? cool. So you go from 0, 0, 0. Yeah, yeah. sorry, five, I, I took you off the point. Go no, on, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. So basically, what the number 9 does is this. That if we look at a circle here and we look at a circle here, if we are to say, okay, we're going to look at the shapes, the fundamental shapes here. So let's just, you know, square this circle, right? And mm. then what you do is, you know, the pentagon, you know, structure. And you just keep on doing this. And eventually these tangential lines will be so... It becomes a circle. So yeah, that yeah, it yeah. becomes, for all intents and purposes, it's a vacuum here. Everything is material here. And it's just getting more and more layered to look more and more circular if you just keep on dividing it. Mm -hmm. Not dividing it by, but tangentially mm -hmm. segmenting How does this relate to movement then again? Okay, but I'm going to get there. Okay, cool. Okay, so now with nine, you have this. If you divide it, then it gets to infinite solid, okay? So basically when you're doing, so now we come to the point of how this works, okay? Yeah. So now we have power equals strength over balance, okay? Yes. So this is called the numerator, and that's on the top. This is called the denominator, and that's on the bottom. Strength more strength used properly is always better, okay? There's never a case where stronger is worse, provided that the strong is being routed through the divine animalistic ease that is our birthright if we cultivate it and we're not led astray and taught incorrect by definition. There is not 
There is not, oh, less desirable. No, there is perfect balance and that attenuates perfect balance and there's anything else is off and it's not acceptable if you are truly honest with gravity and God and yourself and mama earth. So strength has to be big. <laughs> the, bigger, the bigger strength is, the bigger P is, okay? Big, Every time. Well, no, no, okay. because here's what happens. Well, the B is obviously. It, this here, balance, this has to be big. The balance, you measure it by the attenuation to the line. So if your balance amplitude is this, well, then it's larger, and a larger denominator means that this goes down when this goes up. So let's say you have a strength equal to 10, right? And let's say you have a balance that you really suck that's equal to 10. Your power only equals 1. Mm -hmm. Now, if we work on balance... And you get, so is better balance a smaller number? Yes, better balance is a smaller, smaller number. It's more accurate. It's more yes, it's right. more accurate. Like if you land So what would be perfect balance is one or it's... No, no but well, or that's is a, you know, the perfect balance is less than one. Okay. It's less than one because you have two legs and you can change one and one. Okay, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way that you're going to make yourself... When you're 80 years old, you will not be as strong as when you were 40, right? Yeah. So this will go down. Father yeah. time is going down. So that's going to become nine. Yeah. It's going to become eight. And now let's say it becomes a seven. Yeah. Right? But you can work but, on but, balance. But, but now let's say this becomes just one. Now your power. Because you improve it. Yes, you improve because, it from 10 to now, a one. Now what you've done is you've taken the ability to do whatever you want with this number. Yes. Okay? Including so make it bigger than what... It would otherwise... Even though it stays pay. the same, you improve your balance. That Here, Then strength okay. and power goes up. Your power goes up. Now... Here's the other thing, okay? You have a human being, right? A human being here. The center of mass is here, okay? It's inside the body, okay? But, and if we look at it from here, so this is sort of the, you know, the front view. His eyes are looking that way. Yeah. Now, what we do is his center is here. Yeah. With WEC method, what we learn to do is we learn to put the center, like, in your lap outside of you. Fosbury did a high jump, Right? where you have the high jump bar here, and he goes over backwards. So his arms are here, and his legs are here, and his center of mass is here mm. as he's going over the bar. This is why you have to do his technique, and this is your back, and that's your front. Now, the old technique was this. You had to go over front ways, and here's your arms, and here's your legs, and now your center of mass is above the bar. So that becomes the de facto. It took, by the way, 1968, Olympics here equaled Fosbury. 1972, they're back to Western Roll. Like what? How are you back at Western Roll when this is there? Yeah, it's because it. of willful ignorance, cognitive dissonance. And they couldn't see this. They couldn't see what you're seeing. They can't well, deny no, that. No, no, they couldn't because of willful, obstinate ignorance because yeah. they are playing a corrupt game that has corrupted their honesty. Mm -hmm. They cannot be honest because they can only exist in a dishonest paradigm because that's all they know. Mm -hmm. And they're terrified and afraid of losing money. <laughs> okay, which, okay, 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 sorry. Okay, okay so now with WEC method, what we want to do <laughs> is we want to learn, right, yeah. how to operate that body. There's the nose, there's yeah. your baseball hat, whatever. And now here, you want to operate with the center of mass in your lap. And now where you put your chin, right, the chin is this, the top, your eyes are here, your ears are here, the atlas is here, so it's all on one level. And here's your chin coming out here, and that chin coming just forward of where you're going to land that foot, so the foot, you, you're there, before the foot gets there, you have the line through the body here that's a bowspring because the center, of this is your body because your center is here. It's outside of you. Here's your head, the big weight. Here's all this springiness. It's got the shin angle and it's got the shin ankle where you have figured out how to block the ankle so that this angle at the angle at the ankle is something that when you land on it, the only yield is the, is the connective tissue that is doing no work. If you're doing work, you have a muscle here, right? Yeah. And you're doing like sort of, uh, I'm, I'm doing work, right? The weak link is the contraction. It's not fluid anymore. The force can't go like that because it's contracted. And if you're going to yank on this fast, well, then now what happens to the muscle is this. It goes, and then it goes, ugh. Right? That, oh, I couldn't handle it, but I was trying so hard and I've practiced so much like that and it's already micro trauma because I haven't been using it like a fluid medium so that the muscle is basically, there's no slack. It's like, it's just like this. There's no slack because it's long, right? It's not here 
where there's slack, where this is going to go that way and that way because this ain't. <laughs> this is going to shock you. Ding, ding. And now the way it works on bones is let's look at a femur, right? So here's your, you know, whatever, your femur. You know, that's your femur. It's longer than that. But what you need is you need the long bone transmission, and I'm going to sort of barber pole it because it's spiralized, okay? And maybe it spirals both directions. It's very complex, but there's muscles anchored all over this thing that are doing that, you know, these things, right? You know, okay, mm, boom, right? Mm -hmm. So what these muscles are doing is they are sort of enveloping this bow, right? So if we look at, you know, the bow and arrow here, we have this. That's the power. This just has to be strong enough to tension this. So think about your bone, right? You got your femur near, 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 right? There's your femur, mangled person that has like 12 toes, <laughs> extra chromosome, that's all right. They can still move. So now what it is is the muscles are like coming here and coming here and it's all spiraled. So this bow is doing like, like there's a, there's a, it's, it's a three dimensional thing that is so freaking strong. And now there's not a static because if you think about your bones, it's really what, it's a crystalline matrix with the calcium and the collagen. And the calcium has to be there for the electrical ion exchange. And what we want, the key to cardiovascular fitness and, and longevity and health is in every single movement, every single second, try to burn less oxygen. Because oxygen is bad for you. Simple. Right, because look, yeah. oxygen, when you burn oxygen, you have to, antioxidants have to clear it. So what if you don't have yeah. to burn the oxygen? Because all you do is just, I did a video earlier where I'm like breathing like, and that's it, and I can do that forever because I'm balanced and I don't have to feed the other muscles because it's happening, gravity force is happening, it's dynamic. You're yeah. not still, you're moving without moving. Mm -hmm. So these are the, the sort of the principles that unless you understand everything, to get everything right, you understand nothing. You can't serve a wonderful meal and queue up a little dab of shit on the plate because then you don't trust nothing because you don't know, okay? And the openness to change based on the reality of what a clock says and what you feel and what you witness is scientific process, okay? You form a hypothesis. Okay, hopefully you form, form the hypothesis with common sense governing all, which if it defies common sense, like I can now carry hand weights and run faster with weights in my hands than I can without them. And the Western scientists are saying, no, you can't. So instantly the scientific process has been eliminated, cut off. That, that branch is going to wither and die mm -hmm. because you didn't even allow yourself to ask a question, what if? Because it was too good to be true for you. And the fact that you have a vested staked interest in it means you're going to hold to a wrong opinion dishonestly. Because if you, if you use it, with the extra power that does than I am without I can still do it, but I'm better with them, all right? And the fact Because that of even, timing or because of the weight? Here's what happens. In physics, you have momentum and inertia, and they're tied together. Mm. The momentum is the going. The inertia is the, how, how am I gonna stop this? Because mm. it's keeping it on going. Mm. And it, the, the inertia is like the, Resistance to the change. So this, when you when you go full, the the pellets shoot up to the top, and ah yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, it goes like this. It's the difference between like snap your finger. The pulser gives you that resistance for just a split second that doesn't weigh anything in between. And we're yeah. talking, we could be talking. <laughs> hundreds of a second here mm. in terms of the precision when turn remember we said balance has to be small yeah. it, we have to attenuate to the utmost of perfection meaning we can get away from the tiger and you know get the rabbit this is mm. very basic mm. so this it weighs effectively nothing 
right? Immediately after I stop, it weighs nothing for a microsecond, and then it weighs a ton more, and it weighs absolutely nothing. Mm. So, when I go. <laughs> All right, so now, you find me the fastest track runner in the world, and we're gonna do an arm pumping drill. And we're gonna see who can last longer, and then who can stand up and say, all right, who's tired, who's not, right? Imagine you saying bowl. Cultivating that which he already does. Mm. He already does it. Mm. Watch. It's, it's like this. He comes up here, and he goes. Yeah. 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 So he does. Mm. And yet, Michael Johnson, one of the greatest spurs ever, is like, you say Bolt's technique is terrible. Really? <laughs> really? Do you really know? No, you don't. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's basically a very quick and dirty look at the most complex and important form of mathematics that the human being has to know in their body. Otherwise, you're miserable <laughs> with disease. Think about this. Mm -hmm. When my back hurts, I snap. I'm not happy. It's like driving. It's like, Jesus Christ. Oh, this, and now, fuck you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As opposed to, man, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, man. Yeah. The difference is night and day. And if we wanna do this, okay, the only way to effectively pull this off won't happen any other way is you have to eliminate the preventable dis-ease. Mm. Common enemy is pain and preventable disease. You don't trip, you're gonna hurt yourself. Life isn't a bad, you know, life isn't nerf. Mm. But when you nerf the foot with a flat footbed on a tilt that makes you do this and you made everybody follow because you bet big on Jordan and you stoked the rappers. You see the rap community is critical for Nike because to get basketball and then have rap, you have the popular culture that's the coolest emergent stuff of LL Cool J, right? You know, all this stuff and it's amazing, right? And now Nike gets to trump everybody in the sport basketball and that lets them take Run DMC and say, you're Adidas? We're gonna sell this special pair of Nikes for like five grand, and kids are gonna be shooting other kids to take them Nikes off your feet because they're perceived to be so valuable because Michael Jordan gives it the credos that it's the greatest associated with the greatest, and the rappers are the ones who make it fashionable. And people gonna buy fashion over function. Later, they're gonna buy fashion. To their real life. Well, it, I wore the most what I think fashionable shoes are. I had a cowboy cowboy boot collection. Luke mm -hmm. Casey's, I had you know, quill ostrich. I had all the pin ostrich. I had like all those things. I love whatever I do. And I remember walking through airports being like, my right foot is killing me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have to walk to the next terminal. <laughs> but I look like James Dean. So yeah. I'm gonna weather the pain. <laughs> Seriously, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. It was a volitional choice. Yeah. To say, I'm going to keep going in this yeah. disease. Fashion over comfort. Exactly. Yeah. I had to look cool. And yeah. now I don't care about that as much. I don't care about that, actually, because I look cool. Confidence is the sexiest asset you can mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Because no matter how good looking you are, if you ain't confident, yeah. that's not attractive. A human being desperately wants to be confident. And, and so athletes that swagger, there's a natural swagger to some of the top athletes. That is foot, that is this kind of stuff, right? That they just no, do okay, naturally. So I'll show you the top athlete. Yeah. So I'll show you the top athlete. The top athlete is this guy here. Oh, a girl too. So basically the top athlete is this. The top athlete prioritizes what, you know, what the trainer of today would call compensation, mm -hmm. which is this contrapasto, you know, statue of David, you know? I mean, when you're... When you're here and you're like, you know, the contrapasto is balance. Mm. If I got to stay in a long while, the key to everything is change, right? So there is no perfect forever. You got to change it, right? Yeah. Oh, if I know that and I know that, well, then I can know that. I can know that. So you said about the athletes. The so, top okay, athletes. So the, I love it when you keep me on track. <laughs> so with the athlete, it's this. It's I'm going to saunter because... This here 
it makes me feel like I'm ready. If I'm, if I'm at zero to do like nothing here, I get a sip of water. And you see the way I avoided that? Mm. Like I came here, I didn't even see it. I periffed it and then I was like, mm. you know, okay, I don't need to, you know, be afraid of it. Matter of fact, if I'm trying to, you know, being close to it, let's yeah. me know where it is, yeah. right? And then, mm, mm, and notice how everything I do is, you know, it's easy. Like, and you can normalize this kind of behavior and then regulate it, meaning if you do sign a contract, yeah. oh, right, you can use it athletically, of course, which is what justifies it and makes it so you have to do it now. Sorry, but I got to make you better because you got to do it, right? So, or you want to just feel sexy and confident, walk like this. Just, you know, do the little things that other people can't see with your rotational intent. Okay. You know, like if I do like that, you don't know that I'm doing anything, right? Yeah. But watch what I'm doing. It's like I'm, I'm like brushing. And that, watch, I can, it's that fluid, and, and what you want to be able to do is do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. without preparation yeah. and without a cool down. That means that if you're going to do it, I mean, geez, wait. Less energy expended and, no, 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 and, no. and faster, yeah. Look what I'm doing here. Yeah. I'm like here, but the problem with this now is I'm too relative to that activity and now my body ain't pressing the blood. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm better. Hmm. I literally just went like this. People aren't ready to understand that yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I, I believe think there's it, enough it? material on here that is somewhat understandable. Dude, we're something. gonna we're gonna cut it there. We we I think we just yeah. blasted them with so much knowledge, and that's yeah. that's essentially the mathematics of movement. I think almost like. Well, it's not the, all of it, what, but but here's what it is. It's the best I've seen it. Well, he's like, gonna what what it is is. Tim is going to curate this for us, for you. And what we're going to do is... I'll do my best, man. I'll do it. Oh, come on. Yeah. This conf Ooh, yeah. Confidence is sexy yeah, yeah. and you have the right... We, we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. I'm just being British, I think. You're being British, but yeah. you're, you're American at heart. The American experiment <laughs> is the little guy wins. Okay. David beats Goliath okay. because this... We'll leave, we'll leave this video right. here. We'll leave Got it. it. Oh, wait, wait. Last thing. Go on, go on. Last thing. Here's what I want, all right? I want you... To be honest with the ground, yourself, and with the others around you, all right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what I'm putting together with Tim here is the greatest opportunity for physical education ever if you're a fitness professional or if you're a regular person. So here's what I'm doing. Regular people, you're going to get four minutes every day no, no, without no, 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 no. Oh, Sorry. <laughs>